If you've been scrolling YouTube anytime lately, you've seen tons of videos promising you you can make $10,000 a week in passive income. And the FIRE movement has made it seem like sleeping in and spending your days on the beach drinking a cocktail out of a coconut is the complete norm. But my guess is that's not your norm. And it's not mine either. Instead, you're stuck inside a cubicle working a nine to five and quite possibly doing delivery driving on the weekends just to make ends meet. Well, you can forget the hype. Today, I'm giving you the no BS breakdown on passive income in 2024. Is it real? Can you actually do it? We're gonna take a look at exactly that so that you can make informed decisions about your own financial future. So it's important to understand passive income in general. But first, if you're new here, my name's Tanya. I'm a musician, blogger, passive income and SEO specialist. I have multiple passive income streams built out that bring me an income every single day. And I'm so happy that you're here. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I think it's important to start first of all with what passive income is and more importantly what passive income is not. Passive income is income that you earn continuously off of a product that you created just one time. And you know what? It can actually be a lot of hard work creating that one great product. But the good news is once it's created, it will continue to bring in money over and over and over again for years to come. I have some passive income streams that have been around for four years now and they're still making me money. Let's talk about investment income. Now, this is a passive income stream that you do need money up front to invest in. So if you have the money to invest, then this is for you. If not, you're gonna check out the next section and you can just skip in the timestamp below. We're gonna start by talking about investment income as passive income streams. Now there are a variety of different investment income opportunities out there. You have money market funds, you have ETFs, you have real estate investment trusts, also known as REITs. You have dividend stocks, high yielding savings accounts, CDs and short-term rentals that you might put on Airbnb or VRBO. Now, all of these are great passive income streams, but the problem is they require investment upfront. They also carry a fair amount of risk because you are investing in things that are not necessarily completely stable. Now, full disclosure, I do have some of these investment streams. I love my high yield savings accounts and my retirement is invested in ETFs, but the problem is those are very volatile and I've watched it go up and down. These are long-term investments, but maybe you don't have money to invest up front and you need something else. There are still passive income streams out there that will work for you. Now let's talk about non-investment passive income streams because there are a variety of them out there that you could start implementing such as digital downloads. Think PDF printables and Notion templates. These are great opportunities to earn passive income. You can create courses. We're talking micro courses, mini courses, or comprehensive high ticket courses. Also, affiliate income is a great way to earn passive income. This is where you do a workshop or a training, you film it and you sell the replay over and over and over again. I have a whole series of these on my websites. They are my $29 workshops and they are very successful for me because they are providing the opportunity for those who didn't get to catch them live to still be able to see them still be able to get that valuable information at a lower ticket price. Now, all of these passive income streams require little to no money up front and are very low risk. You do the work, you put it out there, and if it doesn't sell, you're only out your time. Granted, if you're going with my advice, you're gonna know it's gonna sell before you put it out there. The downside to this type of passive income is it does require a lot of work up front but you're not having to spend any money. Now we can't talk about passive income without talking about some scams that you need to be aware of because not everybody out there promising you passive income really has your best interest at heart. It's more of a all about me mentality. So the first scam I want to talk about is a Ponzi scheme. Now a Ponzi scheme is where people get you to invest money, promising you huge returns. Think Bernie Madoff biggest Ponzi scheme out there. Now we're talking about a concept 
that has been around for years and mimics a pyramid scheme. They're technically not pyramid schemes because they're selling products, but the way they're structured, they tend to have this pyramid-like shape. So we're talking companies like LuLaRoe, Young Living, doTERRA, Avon, Mary Kay, Tupperware. These companies often require you to invest upfront in product for you to sell. And then you earn money based off of the products you sell, a small commission. Now you might think, oh, that's like affiliate marketing, but no, that's where it stops. Then where the real money is, you earn a commission off of their sales. So the first pe person at the top of this little structure that's a triangle earns a whole lot of money. The middle section earns a little bit more and all the people on the bottom earn hardly anything, if any. As a matter of fact, most people involved in these lose money. And there are much better ways out there to bring in passive income. So I personally would avoid MLMs at all cost. So passive income is actually a very real thing but it's not free money just being handed out. So if that passive income stream that people are promising you seems too good to be true, it probably is. And if you're interested in building out your own passive income streams by creating digital products, courses, or through affiliate marketing, be sure to check out my passive income membership. I'll link it down below. And until next time, peace out. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. Well, I was waiting on the truck to go by, but now it's coming back. Okay, I think we're good.